Hey guys, welcome to Red 5 Thank you for tuning in to another video. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. So in today's video, I wanted to go over how the driving modes impact the traction control and stability system for your Mustang. Now in the previous video, we learned how to turn off the advanced track completely, which is different from your traction control. Now that obviously helps you out in terms of your track or drag strip. In this video, I want to cover how the different driving modes are going to be impacting that situation because if you've got a premium car or a 101A EcoBoost or a 301A EcoBoost, you're going to have the option for all these driving modes like normal, sport, sport plus, track and drag strip. And each setting or each driving mode has this unique setting of the traction control and how the stability control acts. It's important to know what the impact is going to be so you don't try something that you're not supposed to on a public road and get yourself in a situation. So with that being said, let's dive right into the video. Now as I said that if you've got a premium or a 301A GT or 101A EcoBoost, you're going to have all these driving modes. So to toggle the driving modes, you've got this indicator here and this the car is always going to start off in normal mode. So we've got my mode, but Sport Plus. We've got track mode, which as you can see, the traction control is off now there. We've got the drag strip mode. And lastly, we've got the snow and wet mode. And if you want to go into sport mode, you can actually um, change the lever into the sport setting right here. So once you do that, it engages sport mode, which is different from sport plus mode. Okay, so when the car starts in normal mode, you're going to have obviously all the traction control. Uh, traction control is going to be off, your stability control is going to be to its max. Now, if you, the next step up is not actually from the toggle switch, it's from the shifter going into sport mode. So when you turn it into, so as you can see, it's P. If you click it into S, this would be sport mode. As you can see, it's indicated by S over there. So what this does to your traction control is still going to be off. Uh, you're going to have the stability control is still going to be on. So there's no changes. It just changes the driving characteristic of your car. But in terms of stability control and traction control, there's going to be no changes there. However, if you're, let's say, in drive, so you can see I went back to normal mode. But I switch it up to Sport Plus mode. As you can see, it's S Plus right there. What this does to the traction control, even though the traction control is going to be off, you're going to have the uh, stability control just letting you have a little bit fun, not too much, but just a little bit fun to allow you to, um, as you can see, like there's no indicator that show that it's off, but it's, the computer is going to let you slide a little bit, but if you're going too far, it's going to pull you back kind of deal. Now, if I go to track mode, as I mentioned, it's only for track use. Um, do not try it on a public road. So what track mode does, as you can see, the indicator is on. The traction control is completely off now. And stability control has been tuned specifically for track, track use or track strip use. So it's going to allow you to have a little bit more slippage than you normally would. So obviously, it's not something you really want to try on public roads because if you lose control, you have not many electric nannies helping you out. Now lastly, we're going to go into drag strip mode. So for this one, same thing for track use, C manual. Um, in, interestingly, there's no light on, but obviously track and drag strip would be requiring the traction control to be off and a modified uh, stability uh, based on you know the owner's manual. It has a similar impact to track mode, but I'm interested that why they don't have any track traction control off light because obviously when you're drag strip, you don't want traction control holding you down when you're trying to build up your RPMs and launch the car. So it's a similar concept to the to the track mode. Now lastly, we've got the snow and wet mode. Uh, this pretty much goes with the traction control and stability control to be as you know max as it can be because obviously when you're driving in rain conditions or snow condition, you want to be able to kind of let the computer figure out what's best for you. You don't want to be playing with it and trying to figure out or battle it out and see what's, what's going to be better in the snow and end up in a wall. So uh, for snow and wet mode, I definitely recommend that to try that out. But otherwise, normal works fine. Unless you're a track, you can definitely do the track or drag strip mode. 
All right, guys, there it is on how the driving modes are going to impact your traction control and the stability control for your Mustang GT or Mustang EcoBoost. Now, if you do have a base model where you don't have the toggle switches, you actually do have an advanced track sport mode. So it goes basically traction control off, then you've got advanced track sport mode and then advanced track completely off. So to turn off the advanced track or to turn on the advanced track sport mode, you're gonna click on the traction control button twice. So if you hit it once, you're gonna get the traction control off. You hit it twice, you get the sport mode, which is similar to what the track mode would do on the premium models. Now, if you hold it completely, obviously, you're gonna get the traction control and stability control completely off. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment what you think about these traction control and stability control and how they're impacted. What do you really think about all these nannies kind of invading how you wanna control the car? So comment below on that thought. And always, make sure you subscribe to Red 5.0 for more videos.